Hi, I'm Kiwi, that there is Bear, and collectively we're known as Oshali Japan. Our mission is to share Japan with the world, and after surviving the snow in our last vlog, we're heading to the home of Matcha for some very green street food. Konnichiwa. Konnichiwa! So today we have found ourselves after a very cold night last night in Uji in Kyoto. If you are not a big fan of matcha or the Japanese mint, you might not have had a reason to visit Uji before, but today we are going to show you around and change that. So today we are visiting Byodoin or the Temple of Equality in Uji. <laughs> Byodoin. Otherwise known as the place on the 10 yen coin. <laughs> so the reason that it was on, it's been chosen for the 10 yen coin, we're not really sure. We think it's due to the unique architecture, but apparently in 1951, it was chosen. Uji is otherwise best known for its delicious green tea. So today we are gonna go and try some of that or some of the green tea delicacies in the area. But first, here we are. Byodo Inn has just opened. Hey. So tickets cost 600 yen. If you want to visit inside, it costs an extra 300. So let's go have a look at the grounds. <laughs> so it's pretty huge. So we are here. Yeah, I know there's some stuff that's not open to the public, but this is the main part, the Phoenix Hall. Yeah, she said like so go straight and then town left. That makes sense. Yeah. You see that. Ah, uh, and then there's the lake. Yes. Okay, let's go. So I guess that is the Phoenix Hall. But this is not like main way to see. Oh yeah. But it's still gorgeous. Yeah, I didn't realize you could go like actually onto it. I guess that's what the yeah, so guided tour years. is about. Uh, right, let's go around and see it from the proper viewpoint. It's much bigger than I thought because I always see it on the ten yen coin. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Yeah. Yeah. And it's so quiet here. Yeah. We made a good choice by coming in the morning. Yeah. So this is this. Yeah. Yeah. There's the bird. A crane or a yeah. or something. Yeah. It's an interesting shape for the pond. I thought it'd just be like a round one. So the building is like actually built on an island, right? It's not mm. solid ground. So another fun fact, the Phoenix Hall, although it kind of looks like a double-decker, two-story building, is just one because it houses such a big Buddha inside. It's like three meters tall that they needed it to be extra high. <laughs> mm. The bird is also on 10,000 yen. Do you have a 10,000 yen? Yes. Oh, that's the money somewhere. Panic. Where's my wallet? All right, Mr. Money Bags. Oh, oh yeah. Right. I always thought it was the one on King Kakuji. No, this one. Yeah. Oh yeah. So what do we think? So yeah, if you're a big fan of the Japanese mint. You are queen, eh? It is much less red than I thought though. It's like a brown. Yeah, so it's nice, like subtle. I've had like yesterday was so busy with the snow. Yeah, so I didn't realize, but apparently it has an Instagram account. And uh, because it doesn't really snow very much in Uji because it's kind of south of uh, the mountains, it's quite a rare event for it to snow, but it seems like it's all melted today. But it's only 20 minutes from Kyoto Station, so not too far if you come to travel. I don't really know why it's not more of a popular place. I guess because it's not so central like unless you have a lot of time in Kyoto I don't think that many people that many foreign tourists come and visit it really if you think about Tokyo mm. like Kansai is so small right? yeah it's really easy to go everywhere yeah it's really nice so this is my first time visiting here I've been to Kyoto quite a few times I've done all the like Kinkakuji, Ginkakuji all that kind of business but for some reason this is my first time making it here so thank you to our van for getting us here but it is only 20 minutes by train so nice and easy if you want to visit too yeah but there's actually nothing around here like only this so, and green tea yeah, that's why people don't really come but here's a reason to visit is it based on green tea <laughs> could be これ oh, yeah. yeah. So I read on the website that there's different flowers for all the different seasons. So we might see some tsubaki here after I've missed tsubaki at the tsubaki shrine. 
So I say like it's actually big, but it's not big. Yeah, like I kind of expected it to be a bit like what is it, Miyajima's? Uh, oh, yeah, yeah. What's that called? Miyajima. Because yeah. that's kind of another thing that's floating mm. on. Well, I guess it's the river sea, isn't it? Not the pond, but I feel like that seems much bigger. <laughs> so when you go on the tour, you cross the bridge. We oh, yeah. have. It's no bad feeling. <laughs> So it's kind of, I guess you could equate this to the view of the Taj Mahal, but in Japan, like with that perfect reflection, the perfect symmetry, right? Mm. But the question is, does it look like it? Oh. <laughs> 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 it's a bit of an old 10 coin, 10 yen coin. This is your name, a little bit old. I wonder what was on it before 1951. True. I like this side too. I was gonna say, I think in some ways, I think this is almost more beautiful. Right? All of those roof little like flicks. Yeah. Right? And next to this, there's yep. some like bell and this architecture. You think that would be the oldest building here, but apparently the Phoenix Hall is like the only thing that survived all of the fires and all that throughout time. I think they just don't banish. <laughs> Maybe, yeah. Same as our car. <laughs> Whoa. You can't ring it. Oh, but they do have some of the subaki, the camellia flowers here. Oh, here's the Oshare Museum or tea shop. Yeah, so they say you can have like traditional, authentic Uji tea here, but it's closed, so it's <laughs> organized, I guess. So we are here. Yeah. Oh yeah. So it's the tea room. So actually, we did all. Well, we missed out all this stuff, but I'm mostly here to see the Phoenix Hall. Should we go have a quick look at the museum and then go grab something tasty? <laughs> it almost looks like a bunker. Ah, we can't take photos. Yeah, so take take Not a bad visit, is it? No. So the museum is included in the price and it shows you all of what it looks like inside so even if you don't go on the tour you can kind of get an idea of like the colourfulness of the original yeah. temple so nice experience also picked up yeah. our coffee member postcards but the design is a secret I wonder what it is <laughs> Okay, so we right. Town Sure so not so far from our last location and also very very close to the Uji station is our next location, Oniku Hariyoshi, where we are about to try some matcha koroke. So not the traditional matcha green tea drink but in edible form instead. So we can just sit. Little face. <laughs> Should be very green. Oh, they smell good. Uh, カリカリ。うわ。うわ。うわ。うまそう。じゃ、じゃ、ゲス。うん。あ、ちょ、うまい。え?リリーマッサー。めちゃめちゃうまい。リリー。ビター、バー、アウ。ちょっと <laughs> It smells so good. So just from a regular butcher, this is amazing really. It's not more kind of touristy. So unhappy. <laughs> the best cork I've ever eaten. It's all. Yeah. I have to eat it too then. Yeah, me too, for full effect. Look at it. Right? <laughs> God, it's so green. Do. There's like no meat in it, so it's just potato and matcha, but I get what you mean. It's really kind of not bitter, it's earthy, it's really tasty. Right? Okay. Uh huh? Really tasty. Too much so well. 
It's almost a matcha made in heaven. Like it's kind of sweet. Like matcha is not really generally thought of as being sweet, but this is kind of sweet. I just, just look at that green. <laughs> just tasty. Oh. Mm. Mm. <laughs> so we've had our fair share of like novelty koroke. And koroke does seem to kind of be a generally cheap snack street food in Japan but this definitely is one of the better ones that we've had I think right it's yeah. worth I was gonna say it's worth the hype but I'm not sure it's that well known apart from maybe on TV <laughs> so even if you're not a big fan of matcha itself like I know for some people especially foreigners matcha can be quite strong this is definitely a good way to introduce yourself to that flavor <laughs> yeah. oh. good choice, how it is. Mm -hmm. Right, we haven't had enough of matcha from Uji, so I think we better go try some more. So actually, lots of shops have green tea. Or matcha based. Yeah. <laughs> Even like that. Oh, oh, oh yeah. So the reason that matcha is such a big deal here is that apart from the original tea plant in Kyoto, Uji is kind of where it sort of kicked off for the peasants of the world. So before that it was kind of just for nobility. They also have their own unique way of farming it, or how would we call that, cultivating it, where they cover the leaves for most of the year so that photosynthesis can't happen. So the leaves are quite different to regular green tea, so it's slightly more expensive, it also makes it more famous and I guess much more tasty. We came from Byodoi to the station, the shop, and we are going back to Byodoi area again. <laughs> Gotta get our order right. Sweet. So if you're in the mood for snacks, it seems like Uji is kind of the place to go. They have lots of dessert places as well. So you can also go for tea ceremonies, but we're here just to snack, I think. Well, they have tea bread. Oh yeah. Whoa. So green. Right, have a day. That smells good. Or well, something smells good. Definitely if you're in the mood for a snack, come to Uji. What about that? <laughs> the mushroom bread. Sure. You didn't choose a very green one. It doesn't look so green in this light. Oh yeah. Yeah. Oh well. So is it like melon pan muffin? Yeah. Nice. Okay. Oh, Ale. <laughs> <laughs> With the tail of Genji people, I'm guessing. <laughs> so apparently that river over there and also most of this area in Uji are famous for the tail of Genji. So that's why that yeah. is there. So just down the road from our little bakery is the Uji River. Yeah. And just behind me over here, next to this massive Tori gate, is Omata Sando. So, not the one in Harajuku area, but. Main Street of Uji? Where you can find all of the tea goods. But first, I wanna try this one. So, Rafa. Yeah. Oh. I heard that they do the cormorant fishing, you know, with the bird. Oh yeah. But now is not the right kind of time. Also, apparently that used to be one of the oldest bridges in Japan. I think it's the site of the oldest one, but now they've got all the concrete. It's no longer the oldest, yeah. <laughs> but got a nice shape to it. Hadashite umai no ga uji bread. Beautiful. You are so hot. So it's like yeah. So melon pan is not actually like tastes like doesn't taste like a melon. It's just called melon pan because of the kind of crust effect, I guess. So it looks like the rind of a melon, but ooh, this is not melon pan. Like a yeah, but the top is. But then it's what is that like a broccoli? <laughs> okay. Broccoli. Yeah. Okay. Ja, you like broccoli mask? Huh? Hmm. Hmm? <laughs> it's a broccoli with a pond inside. <laughs> Did you know? No. It's... I was not expecting that. It's like a soup. 
It's a soup. Matcha soup. <laughs> That's so tasty, wait. It's a mate. I wanna I wanna try and get to the soup without it going all over me. Hmm? You must thought I was not expecting that. Okay. A little reservoir of matcha. Okay. Try. Mmm. <laughs> hmm? Ooh. I think it's like almost like mochi. Yeah. Mm? I have no idea what's going on with this, but it's so tasty. Try it. <laughs> so empty inside, actually. I'm just uh. <laughs> <laughs> but this flavor's not that strong, right? Mm. Yeah. Hmm? Like mochi mochi, right? Like I can't describe what that is. What is that? Like a mochi. Right? That kind of texture, but. You should have had a look at the menu right. in the bread shop. Right. So I know, like I said, the flavor of matcha can be quite off-putting for some people, but if you try it with other food, you really can't get that kind of strong, overpowering taste. So it's kind of a subtle sweetness. It's not the kind of strong like taste that you might get if you are not used to strong green teas. This another great find. I'm I'm enjoying my Uji trip today, aren't you? <laughs> the most the most surprising ever. It almost looks like an onion. <laughs> yeah. But it's not, it's savory, it must be. Mo mixed with mochi? Ah, white bean. I have no idea. Whatever it is, tasty. Got to some of this. <laughs> right, the last spot on our Uji trip today, since it's mostly about food, is to go have another dessert. <laughs> <laughs> so we came back to the omotsando. <laughs> yeah, so apparently this is the main place to get all of your uji green tea goods. So I expect we're gonna see a lot more food that we want to eat, but uh, the place that we are trying to head to, or that I saw that I would like to try out, has some of the best green tea dango, kind of like a mochi ball type thing in all of uji. So <laughs> that's cool. Everything is tea, <laughs> even the chocolate. But that's kind of normal, right? Matcha chocolate. But then, oh, Uji <laughs> is full of all the goods. Oh. So you can go for a tea ceremony here, 700 yen, including sweets. So where are we going now? Ah, uh, so the place we're going to is called Noto something. What's it called? I'll go to us. Inafusa Yasukane. There. Um, and apparently they do like, I guess, omiyage style, like souvenir kind of style. So you can get just boxes and boxes full of this dango. I'm ready for more sweet stuff. Even they have like matcha ramen, matcha gyoza, matcha takoyaki. <laughs> Everything. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Oh, the inside, right? Yeah. 100% this time. sencha, genmai cha, koji cha. And I guess they're grinding their matcha. Yeah. That's why it smells so good. Yeah. And this <laughs> yes. Oh. Look it's a very like old style. Mm -hmm. oh, like old fashioned. Yeah. So we got it. So we got it. The woman was super cute, so like before I was even prepared to go in, she was like beckoning us in, like, please take a video of this part, it looks much nicer than the outside and stuff, right? Yeah. So we got a 30, and I can definitely see that they've had a, a long tradition there. So that shop has apparently been running since 1717, so gotta be good, huh? Ah. <laughs> the ice cream shop. Oh yeah, so we've just come back to <laughs> Myodoin. <laughs> so Amontesando is pretty small, especially compared to the Tokyo version, but I guess we chose the best shop in the street. Actually, Myodoin is by the river. Oh yeah, so that somewhere in there is Myodoin. And I guess that over there is the river. Whoa! Whoa. So we can go sit on the little island. To go? Where? Oh, you want to ah, sit under the tree? Yeah. <laughs> You're just going to sit under the tree. That's That works too. It's very poetic. Ja, I learned the Ah! 
tight. Oh yeah, there's also tea houses too. Seems cold though, but... <laughs> I'm too excited for the dango first. Oh. <laughs> yep. Hi. Pakat. Oh. It's like a uh, chocolate. <laughs> They're like handmade, right? Yeah. Yeah. Dozo. E. Eo. Which side do I pick them up with? This side. Yeah, like, yeah. Oh, so squishy. <laughs> Reminds me of mas sushi. Yeah. <laughs> I'm not even lying, that is the best dango I've ever had. It's and I am a dango connoisseur. I eat dango like a lot, right? Yeah. <laughs> like anything mochi, anything dango, I'm there. This is delicious. It's so soft, it's so subtle, superbly squishy. Like, oh. It's also not that strongly matcha mm. either, right? Ah! Eh? But the smell is matcha. It's not strong, but... Mmm! This is the best I've ever had. <laughs> so... <laughs> I'm impressed with Uji's food. I think before coming to Japan the first time, I hadn't really heard of Uji. I'm not a huge green tea drinker. And it's not somewhere that people talk about that often unless you're talking about the 10 yen coin. If you're not a huge fan of matcha, definitely, definitely do come to Uji and try some of this food because it will change your mind, I'm sure. And if not, then you can at least enjoy Byodo in, don't you think? Yeah. Stop eating them all. <laughs> Look at this. <laughs> 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 one. <laughs> how, how many? <laughs> oh my god, I love Dango. Yeah. That's how, that's how you ate so many. Save some for me. Like grapes. Wow. I am absolutely living my best life in Uji. Mata? She said eat it before tomorrow, but 10 minutes, just 10 minutes you need. Yeah. It's gone. Mm. I have no words. <laughs> My last. Mm. Oh Skewer them up for me, please. <laughs> oh. Sure. Make it like a real dango stick. That's how it should be done. Oh, look at that. <laughs> it's cute, right? You'll probably see how much my hands are shaking now too. It's cold. I'm getting cold. I think it's time for us to head for a nice hot matcha and home. To the van. <laughs> so thank you for watching as always. Hopefully you enjoyed our little tour of Uji and it gave you a reason to come visit this part of Kyoto. Yeah. And we'll see you again next time. Se no Uji.